Okay, so now that we're set up, we can begin to talk about autonomous agents. Uh, this is based on the work of uh, Craig Reynolds. So uh, autonomous agents, they have limited perception, and then from its limited perception of the environment, it calculates uh, some action. Uh, so there's no leader. So um, the what it does is based on uh, its environment and what it sees of the environment. It's not getting instructions from without. Uh, so um, our rules uh, first um, we're going to it's going to select an action and then it's going to steer and then it's going to uh, move. Uh, we already have locomotion figured out inside of our mover object so we don't need to worry about that at all. So um, and then action selection we don't need to worry about that for this video because uh, the action select that we're going to select is steer towards and so we just need to tackle this uh, equation right here uh, for steering. Our steering force uh, equals our desired velocity minus our current velocity or um, if you want to think about it differently our current plus our steer equals desired um, so let's look at a picture of that and uh, hopefully it'll make it more clear so uh, here's our mover we have a mover here a vehicle and uh, its uh, current velocity is right here and uh, the action that we have selected is it moves towards a target. So uh, we want to calculate the desired. We calculate the desired by a vector pointing from our vehicle position to the target position. And then you can see that this doesn't go all the way because we want to have it um, have some maximum value. So our speed, our vehicle can't move as fast. It has some speed limit to it. It can't move as fast as uh, it can only move so fast. Okay, so uh, so we have current velocity, and we're going to calculate our desired velocity, and then uh, we need to think about steer velocity. And steering velocity is the velocity that when we add it to our current velocity it gives us our desired velocity uh, so that's said this way right here current plus steer equals desired so we have um, our current and then we're going to add add steer equals desired or uh, this is the same thing except with uh, current subtracted from both sides so this is how we're going to calculate our steering force is desired minus current so um, for me it's easier to think about it this way where current plus steer equals desired um, but it's the same thing as uh, desired minus current equals steer So, yeah. So, I just want to say it once more before we move on that our steering velocity is the vol velocity that, when we add it to current, gives us our desired. Uh, we have a current velocity inside the mover. Uh, we have the desired, we can calculate the desired, and then based on those, we can subtract them out and get our steering. Okay, so let's. Uh, uh, I'll stop this video and then in the next we will tackle how to uh, write that in code. It really is, isn't that hard.